Bushtroopers.com. I am with Rick Goodfellow from Arkell. They make uh, bicycle bags and panniers. I just learned that word. <laughs> I am terrible. Very, very good, Dave. You did a great job. Thank you, thank you. I'm, you know, as we all know, this is all a learning process for me. And Rick is going to explain the different types of bags you can have. Now, he took this bike and you rode this like, everywhere. Well, I've, I've ridden this most recently, uh, Dave, in, in India for uh, about a month, and which was an, an incredible experience, as you can well imagine. Oh, yeah. And uh, I made the right decision to use Arkell bags, and they were terrific. I am uh, pleased to say that they are 100% manufactured in Canada. Excellent. Uh, actually in uh, Sherbrooke, Quebec. Sure. And they are virtually indestructible. Excellent. Now what I like about these, as you were showing me, was the, uh, the harness systems, and we'll, we'll zip in and show that, and sure. how that works. They, they pop right off easily, right. which is what I like, because I'm all about being lazy. And they snap off, you've got many different sizes and styles. Right. Now you can see, uh, I was talking earlier about bags being, you know, mounting on the front, which, I think of the good old days when I had a basket. They throw on there, and then the bags in the back, which are great, but you also have the side bags for the front. Yes, front. yes, of which I will. Yeah, I got a bike. Okay, I will show you. These, these also come with, uh, there's a, a yeah, bracket system. Yeah, there's a rack, a rack system that uh, I just have taken off since I returned, but this will go on the front like this. Perfect. One side, two sides, mm -hmm. accommodate uh, most of your smaller necessities. Mm -hmm. It's amazing what you can get in these. Oh, yeah. And uh, one of the nice things, one of the, 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 the best things about our, our bags is that we have this system we call a cam lock attachment system, where there are a couple of opposing cams situated on a sliding aluminum rack, track here, mm -hmm. track. And they're fully adjustable for the size of a rack on a bicycle. And, I can just and also for comfort, so you can put yeah. it where you like it. Right. If you want right. it further back or further forward. Right, right. It's a, a matter of uh, quick on, quick off. Perhaps what I should do before I do that is take off this. This is this is uh, an item we call the tail rider. It's amazing what you can get in this thing. It simply velcros on a rear rack. I'm just removing these four velcro attachment points. Once it's on, it's very, very sturdy. There it's off. It bellows out side to side. It has and it incorporates a rain cover, which is ideal. It uh, opens at the rear like this with a couple of excellent YKK zippers. It bellows out to the side and just carry a number of things. Mm -hmm. And then just to show you how quickly this will come off, I pull up on the on the handle here. And there we have it. That's amazing. And, and conversely, it just hooks on up here. I lift up and it's on again. And that's it. The, the, and you can hear it snap into yeah, place. Yeah, it snaps into place. Now, you were mentioning a story that when you were in India, yes. you were riding, it, other people had uh, other products right. that had plastic mounting brackets. Right. These ones are all metal. Right, that's correct. So that's a way better thing. So when you were riding some rough terrain, that they actually theirs broke or just loosened, fell off. Uh, a couple broke, uh, right. another one loosened, and uh, yeah, unfortunately that was game over then because of, again the, the mounting system, the plastic mounting system broke. We take great pride in, in ours in the sense that it's it's in a the mounting system consists of two aluminum brackets here. Mm -hmm. Once they are set up and they're fully adjustable for the different size sizes of handlebars and, and circumference of handlebars and so on. Then you then they've got I'll just remove this. Press these two little caps off the top and it's off. And then it incorporates a strap 
I love Thumb that. saw. And, so uh, it's a perfect just a shutter yeah. bag for yeah. cameras or walking through town. Yeah, exactly. So what happens is that this uh, aluminum bracket on the bag meshes with these two brackets on the bike, and once you set them up, yeah, these are, I see these are adjustable. So yes. once you set these up, then you yes. set those to it. And yeah, that's great. yeah. So that uh, that's how that one works, and you can certainly hear the the metal. I'm a great believer in, in metal brackets. There, yeah. the click. There she's on. That's awesome. Not to be, and, and this this is uh, this will withstand some of the toughest riding conditions uh, imaginable. Uh, I know from experience, it works, works very well. Well, I mean, you, India, you went like from the top or down or how? Uh, we, we started in Mumbai, which is sort of halfway and went to the southern tip of the country. So it was about, it was a month long uh, ride and uh, it, it went well. This is the, this was the, the bike I used along with the, uh, the gear. That's incredible. So you definitely know what it's like in a third world country, is India a third world country? Uh, yes, it's it a is developing, developing country. Developing, yep. so country. they, um, they obviously don't have the roads, so my portion of how I do this about the disaster survival and uh -huh. you know you get into this and some of the other things I like is these side bags combined are 42 liters, you say, or 42? Uh, uh, yeah, a pair of these is 42 liters. Okay. Uh, a pair of the fronts are uh, 28 liters. So right off the bat, you're looking at uh, 40, 60, 70 liters. Mm -hmm. My my backpack that I use for most of what I do is uh, is a 67 liter pack. Right. And I right. Mean, sometimes, well, I carry too much crap anyway. <laughs> that's why I'm taking these courses so I don't have to carry so much. But um, we have that, that's bags if you wish. Yeah, no, that's true. And that, that's what I was going to get right into that too. You guys do. You have, um, what was the big one that you were showing me in the no, catalog? So actually, it's a little overkill, quite frankly, but we, we, we have a, a, a set of panniers that are meant for um, two up tandem, so a couple on a tandem. That will hold 84 liters. 84, 84 liters. That's liters. Crazy. But just to comment further on, on simplicity, I must confess that when my wife and I tour, when we tandem tour, we all we use the tail riders you saw, mm -hmm. this tail rider here, with these two rear bags of uh, of um, 40, 42 liters. And these two front ones of 28, that's all we use on the tandem. We can actually get our smallish, but, but large enough, our smallish two person tent crossways in one of these bags. Right. With our sleeping bags, it's amazing what we can get in there. And that's so. That is we, good. Yes. Yeah. I'm all about well, cramming and finding spaces. And um, you were mentioning these have lots of pockets as well. I'm a bit of a pocket freak. Mm -hmm. I'm not a big fan of just one big bag because right. in the middle of the night, Right. You're digging. And I hate digging. Right. I like to have, oh, I need this, so that's in that pocket there. Right. And you have lots of pockets in these, and we'll show that as well and get into those more details. So these things are fantastic. And they come with a lifetime warranty? Yes. That's amazing. And the system, again, it's all metal, lifetime warranties. The bag is made out of uh, Ripstop Cordura. Yeah, for and sure. Actually, uh, and let me see if I, this is a... Uh, we can prove that to us, so I'll try and write that. Oh, I've, been, I've done this. <laughs> I, yeah, I've had uh, a couple of uh, products. Yeah, they don't work. <laughs> and I, I've had, well, a, a product, Bush Buddy tool pouch made out of Cordura. Right. For that reason exactly, it's the right. same thing. I right. love Cordura, I'm a big, big fan of it. Mm -hmm. It's great stuff. Mm -hmm. So basically, now you guys have a better idea. I've shown you, we've gone through the, the bike repair course to figure out how to maintain your bike, build and fix them. We've gone through trailers for extra equipment, the different types of trailers you can buy. Now we've got bike bags and panniers. By the way, which is a pannier and which is a bike bag? That's a good question. I would I would term these panniers. Mm -hmm. I would term this a, a bike bag. I would term this a bike bag. But anything that really mounts on a rack and carries gear, I would call a pannier, okay. whether front or rear pannier, but something like this is back, this is back. Right, that's good to know because I didn't know. And, so, we, and, and, and we also, if I can just add, we've, uh, given the type of spring we've had, rather wet. <laughs> I think uh, we have one day of sun. Yes, we, we also uh, provide, um, should you wish, should you get caught in, in a real downpour, uh, we provide rain covers. We manufacture yellow rain covers as well. Our belief is that uh, majority of the time you will not be cycling the rain. The odd time when you do, quickly put your rain cover on, then you take it off. Mm -hmm. And your bag is able to 
breathe again, and right. that sort of thing. And some of our bags do have interior waterproof liners, but we you don't. Know, you know, Right. Well, I'm again keeping it simple, and interior waterproof liners are garbage bag. Right. And, and right. I've shown that in backpacks. They're cheap. You get them in different colors, right. using them for emergency flags, whatever. Right. So, but the fact that these are not 100% waterproof is actually better because when they get wet inside, because water gets everywhere, they dry out. Right. So a, exactly. a full waterproof bag is, is literally a water bucket. Yeah. You know, just sitting right. there holding that water until right. you air the whole thing and, right. and go through that process. Right. and. Most right. time you don't want to, so this is right. even better as far right. as I'm concerned. Right. Like that's why I have drain holes and everything, including my head. So it works out well for me. But thank you so much. Thanks for showing it. Thanks for my from my viewers who uh, want to check this stuff out and who didn't know what a pannier was like me and were like, oh my god, now I know and can get a better idea and actually a visual idea of how these things look on a bike. And for inviting me to your beautiful home and showing me this stuff. Oh, and where can we get these things? Okay, uh, you can get there are a number of fine stores uh, throughout Canada, fine bike shops that, that carry our product. Great. Plus, you can get them directly online from Arkell.